It's time to dust off your favourite chair and sit in front of the big screen TV. Get a drink in your hand because it's five o'clock somewhere. Your number one host, the Thunder from Down Under, a man on a quest to make money for beer. Sparring DK presents... Relegation Regen Rebuild. PSG. Hello and welcome back to Relegation Regen Rebuild. This will be the season finale here with PSG. Now we sit in fourth position. I don't think we can finish any higher uh, on points, but we can definitely slip lower. We've got three games to play in this episode and then we'll do a full wrap up. Now, I'm not sure whether we qualify for the Europa League or anything like that. Uh, if we do manage to finish in fourth, we'll have to see what happens when we move into next season. But uh, my theory right now is that we've got something like nine weeks until FIFA 20. So we need to get motoring along with this career mode. So what if what I think we need to do is uh, next season will probably be another accelerated season. We'll punch through uh, until we qualify for the Champions League. And then once we do that, we'll play another full season and, and, and try and, and push through to that final. Um, unfortunately, starting to career mode so late and not doing daily uploads is probably... Um, you know, hurt this series a little bit, but hopefully you're enjoying the content that's out here on the on the run home uh, to FIFA 20. So the season finale, we will have the Regenero uh, live stream probably on a Monday night, uh, my time, um, so that we can, you know, see who the player of the season was for this one because we've played all the games. But uh, with the accelerated seasons, we won't have the voting system in play, just letting you know that now. Anyway, that's enough of the formalities. Let's get into it with a player upgrade. Right, today's player upgrade is for Sorrow, and this one comes in from Aaron Gallan. Thank you very much for your comment. 14 thumbs up. He's gone with the number 17, a tight fit kit. Long sleeves, low socks, and some orange Adidas boots. Looking very good. And, uh, you know, he might have a future here. We've still got, uh, what, six odd million to pay off in the transfer budget debt. Um, but hopefully we can knock that on the head in the accelerated season uh, for season number five and, and start bringing in some players that can carry us into contention to uh, get there into the Champions League. But three games left to play. Let's get into this episode and wrap up the season. Right, first game of the episode, we're going back to the 4-3-3 formation to take on Angers. And uh, hopefully the boys are up to finish off the season strong, keep us in this fourth position, and we can uh, reevaluate what we do in season number five. Let's get in to this game. All right, ladies and gentlemen, match day 36. Three games remain in the season, and, well, we just need to try and hold on to fourth here, you'd feel. Possibility. I'm not even sure if we get uh, Europa football out of that one, but uh, we'll have to wait and see how we go. The, the form has been down. The gamers' play has not been going our way. Hopefully we can just chill, relax, and play some good football here today and try and find some goals and uh, hold on to that fourth position. You can see there, um, what are we, 11 points back. So there's, there's no way that we're catching Nice. Let's get in to this game. It's tight marking. Going on here, Pedro plays through, finds Arnaiz, lays off, Amaral, oh! Cell plays one through for Amaral. Cuts back nicely, Amaral somehow gets through, Cassell, oh, unlucky boys. Pushing hard, trying to get some momentum in this game. But still nil all. Plays off, oh, that's a skipper Arnaiz. Cuts back and pulls the trigger, but it's just not good enough. We just don't have that venom, that desire. The season all but over. And there is the halftime whistle. Not sure what's happening with the clock, but it's nil all. Oh, that's got to be a free kick. Ref, come on. Pedro plays through. Amaral taken out. Oh, God, Ref. We get a corner. Nothing getting called here at the moment. And he drives in. Nero is there. Dama lays off, here's Pedro, he's taking the deflection. We've got another corner, they haven't had a shot this game, 6 to nil, but they're just happy to sit back and defend by the looks of things. Amaral gets the touch, and it's Schulte! Oh! Well, he gets his second career goal here, in the right place at the right time. The German centre-back just sitting on the back stick. Amaral got the ball in there, but Schulte, of all people, there to clean it up. Handed him a mop and bucket, and there he was to get the job done. 1-0 PSG, finally we break the deadlock. He didn't have to do anything. Just tapped it home. Just tapped it in. Just tap, tap, tap a room. Get in. 1-0 to PSG. We'll dunk it back inside. Unhaze couldn't get in there. And it's out for another corner. 
We're all over them. We just can't find the goals we need. Nasal drive in. Ribeiro got up. That's out the back door. Dama. Olsen. Pedro. And Pedro shoots, but nothing on that one. A little bit of custard from the Brazilian. Pedro. Arnaiz. Found Cassell. Lays it off. Here's George Olsen. He'll push inside. Oh, take it out. The lad can't get a shot away. Shooting blanks. Right, three changes. Olsen out for Mark. Jesus for David. And Schmidt checks in for Cassell. Tries to get it out for Schmidt. Picked off again. They're pushing. They want this goal. They're looking for an equaliser. Barrow picked off. Barbier. Schmidt plays it off. Arnaiz gets it forward. And we find the three points finally. It's all too late, but we just want to hold on to this fourth position. Good win and three points in the bank. Well, they didn't have a shot for the game. These low sides just seem to be shutting up sharp. But we get the victory. Let's have a look at the performances. Schulter gets the goal and an 8.4, a 7.4 for Dama, a 7.5 for Ribeiro, 6.1 for David, 7.5 for Barbier, a 7.3 for Arnaiz, a 5.6 for PC Mock, 6.7 for Amaral, 5.9 for Schmidt, a 7.3 for Cassell, 6.4 for George Olsen, 7.5 for Pedro, 6.8 for Rossi. Well, two shots caught, but they didn't have a, uh, a shot, so uh, okay. 7.3 uh, for Weber, get voting up in the eye for your player of the match. Right, it is a new month and we need some new training scenarios. Now, we are going to go into an accelerated season, so give me lots and lots of training scenario comments down below because we're going to get through a few months in each episode. So I'm going to need, uh, you know, your guys' input if you're uh, wanting to be a part of it. But there we go here. Uh, we've got, oh my goodness, you have a name that I am probably going to destroy. Um, Fern Rednenzo Namun says, sorry? But uh, you want Pedro Jesus trained on goal defending. That's a good call. Very good call. All right, Anthony Wagner would like Olsen trained on some crossing. Uh, Karami Sufi React would like Debogo trained on some finishing because he's poor. Yeah, 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 all right. MN Singh would like Arnais trained on penalties. And the final one from David Anetor, who just says, train Jesus. All right, there is our training scenarios for May. Come on, boys. Scout reports are back. We are here in China. We've got Shin Lee, 68 to 92. We'll monitor him further. Right, Norway has brought us back nothing. And we are here in Cameroon. We've got Sanku Indri to keep an eye on at 72 to 94. Six foot six. Looks like a left back. We'll see how he develops uh, in the future reports. All right, second last game of the episode. We're taking on Clumon Foot. And, um, you know, just trying to push on here. Um, I think Amarel might be up and about here still for the Golden Boot, so we need to try and find him some goals. He's been very quiet, just picking up one or two. He started off the season so promisingly, but um, yeah, has definitely been a little bit more quiet of late. Let's see if we can find him one or two here today. Big game. Let's do it. Right, ladies and gentlemen, second last game of the season, match day 37. We're taking on Clement Foot here at home. And looking for just, you know, a sign that this team can go on and be something brilliant. We've been a little bit lacking over the last few games and I'm just looking for that big performance that just really shows that PSG are a team to be reckoned with. Let's get into this game as we currently sit in fourth. Six points now. If we can get a victory here, that should all but wrap up uh, the fourth position. Over. Pedro. Arnaiz Amaral, bang! Come on down! There we go, Arnaiz with another assist. And Amaral gets the goal he's been looking for. His 16th goal of the season. In with a sniff for the golden boot here, Amaral. And that is the kind of start we're looking for. Four minutes. Pedro to the captain. Who slips it forward for Amaral and he just smashes it home. Thank you very much for coming. 1-0 PSG. Cracking finish. Get in. Vero. Oh, Barbier, great, great defensive work. Getting back to help out the team. And Nasal will slip this one off for Cassell, who'll drive the line. Here is Cassell. Plays it back inside. Barbier off to the skipper, Arnaiz. He comes on forward. Plays it off now for Olsen. Amaral gets in! Gets in! He's got two! Olsen with the assist now. This is what we're looking for from PSG. What is this? What is this from Amaral? He's bloody happy about it. Well, gunning for a golden boot here by the looks of things, and he's got a couple. 
He's used the crossbar, he's got to pass the line, and that will be called a goal. 2 0 PSG, Amaral with two. 17 goals now for the season. A big performance coming up here by the looks of things. PSG finally getting their game together. The roar of the Brazilian Lion. Need some help. Pedro finds the skipper. Oh, no, he shoots. Oh, deflection. Brings it back inside. Oh, yeah, should get the touch. Oh, no, he's, oh, he's tried something. Olsen! Oh, just wide. Cut by a goal at the moment, young George. Oh, come on! Fucking soft penalties given. Schultz just sneezed. He's gone down quicker than a $2 hooker in the box. Oh, how is that a fucking penalty? Fuck me. Come on, Rossi. Take that clean sheet, son. Oh, two one. Undeserving. Fucking bullshit. Well, there's the half-time whistle. We give him a penalty to get back in the game. It's 2-1. Oh, Dama! Far out, 2-2. Two, two. Oh, I thought he had that one completely covered. God knows what's happened there, but uh, they're back in the game. We got out of the blocks early, but Clement Foot have uh, pulled it back. And it's now equalised at 2-2. Two, two. That's just gone straight through him. It's just gone straight through him. Oh my days, everyone's missed it. And he's trying to just give him a little bit of a root up the bum as well on the way through. You've got a goal, mate. You don't need any more out of us. 2-2. Two, two. Oh, no, he's with the ball out wide for Olsen. Oh, just gets around his man somehow. Drives inside. Pedro! Oh, unlucky. Pedro finds Olsen. Lays off. Here's our nays. Pulls the trigger. Can't beat the keeper. Right, let's make some changes here. Cassell out for Debongo, Jesus out for Sainz Valente, and Olsen out for PC Mock. Oh, great save from Rossi. No one seems to be able to make a tackle here at the moment. Verbal will play forward. Mock lays off. Sainz Valente slips one through and finds Mock again on the run. Let's go, PC Mock down the line. Can you drive one home? Oh, couldn't get that pass through. Says it, Valente, lovely ball. Rivero plays it forward to Bogo. Get on your bike, son. Yes, to Bogo. Still goes to Bogo. Cuts back beautifully. Drives inside. Amaral! Hat trick! Bang! Fucking gets it! Lovely ball from to Bogo. And Amaral has shown up here today. Finds his third of the day. His 18th goal for the season. Nine minutes remain, it's 3-2. Lovely little touch from Debogo. Put everything he had into that one. And Amaral finds a bit of space, uses Arnaz as a decoy, and gets the goal to make it 3-2, and we're back in the lead. Come again, are they? Oh, Schultz is taking it to the crackers. Oh, that's the way to put your balls on the line for the team. Mock. Come on, boys. Oh, look out. That's the kind of ball. And Rossi with a big save. Come on, lads. Europa League football on show. High ball, and Dama gets the clearance. Where's the fucking whistle, ref? There it is. Oh, we've been carried home by Amaral. And that should sort of put us into uh, Europa for next season. Well done, Amaral. Well, there we go, 12 shots to 11. It was a hotly contested match, but Amaral comes up the goods. Three goals, he's been quiet, but there's a hat trick. An 8-3 for Debogo checks in for an assist to 6-3 for Cassell. He didn't do too much today. 8-2 for George Olsen with an assist to 7-6 for Pedro. 7-8 for Rossi. 10 saves. Great game. 7 for Weber. A 7 for Schulter. A 7-1 for Dama. A 7-7 for Ribeiro. 6-3 for Sainz of Alente. An 8-3 for Barbier. Uh, an 8-9 for Arnaz with the assist. And five defensive efforts from the captain. Mark gets a 6-7. Get voting up in the eye for your player of the match. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. It is the final game of the season. Pretty much a dead rubber. I think we finished in fourth, which I think qualifies for the Europa League at least. So uh, we'll have something to play with next season. Uh, but let's get into this game. Amaral hunting a golden boot. Let's see if we can get a few more goals today. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, the final game of the season. We are on the road. Amarel chasing a golden boot here. And uh, we'll have to wait and see if he can get the job done. A couple more goals here should secure it. He's had a, a pretty decent season. Nothing spectacular, but 18 goals from your lead striker is always uh, a bonus. Let's get into this game and see if we can finish off the season on a high with three points. Oh, yeah, quick one, too, with Ribeiro. Needs to slip it on now, and he does. Cassell pushes the line. Can you find the big lad inside? It's Amaral! He can't beat the keeper with this opportunity. Weber. Oh, it's a lovely ball. Olsen will look inside. Amaral! Oh, great save! Oh, lovely from Olsen. Plays it off. Arnais looks forward. Amaral! No, not with that. They're looking for him. They're trying to help him out. We want something from this season. Oh, yeah. Oh, Olsen's finding some space. Oh, it's Schulter! Tom! Oh, Jesus! What's he done there? Why was he so far forward? <laughs> well, there is half time. It's been all to lose. And it's nil all. Probably from Ribeiro. Finds Gassel. Out to Pedro. There is Amarel. Trying to find an opening. Oh, great save. How did he even get that strike away? Well, let's make three changes here. Cassell out for Debogo. It had an impact in the last game. Jesus out for Cesar Valente. And Mock for Olsen. Cesar Valente. Oh, Cesar Valente. Corner now. Arnaiz to try and find something. He'll look for Amaral. Oh, cleared off the line. Oh, ref! Fucking pay it, you bum nugget! Oh, yeah, pay them a free kick. Fuck me! Oh, yeah. Valente. De Bogo. Cesar Valente! Oh, can't beat the keeper. And this one's looking like it will be a draw. We've had some opportunities, but there it is. One point in the final game of the season. Well, 10 shots to six. We had chances. And let's have a look at the uh, players. Ribeiro with six defensive efforts gets an 8.2. 6.4 for Cesar Valente. 7.7 for Barbier. A 7.2 for Arnaiz. 6.6 for PC Mock. A 6.6 for Amarel. Five shots, but uh, no. 6.1 for Debogo. A 6.9 for Cassell. A 7.7 for George Olsen. 6.4 for Pedro. 7.4 for Rossi. Seven saves. Well done, son. 7.9 there for Weber with six defensive efforts. Schulter a 6.6. 6.5 six, 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 for Dammer. Get Boney up in the eyes. The final game of the season. Right, so we do clinch your Europa League spot for next season. Team of the competition. Uh, let's see here. Schulter, Weber, Arnaiz, and Amarel. So four in the team of the season. Uh, Amarel has won the Golden Boot with 18 goals. And the player of the competition this season is Arnaiz. And how did we not win the fucking league? Oh, well. Right, so just confirming Amarel did win the Golden Boot by one. Uh, Arnaiz up there as well with 13 goals for the season. And uh, that might be about it. Assists. Holy shit. Arnaiz gets 18 assists for the season. Amarel chips in with 12. Olsen got himself 9. Um, so not a bad effort there from the PSG boys. Uh, Mock even got himself 5. Clean sheets. Lopez from Olympic Lyon with 19 clean sheets. Rossi manages to get himself 10 for the season. Probably needed a few more. And uh, cards we don't care about. All right. This is the final U Squad report for the year. Um, I'm reluctant to sign any up just yet. and They haven't been asked to be called up. I'd rather wait to January and see how we're looking. Um, but if we need to clear off any deadwoods, now is the time to do it. A lot of promising young lads here. Um, so let's have a look. Jaden Jacob, 61 overall, 90 to 94. Definitely will be a part of this team in the future. Nicholas, 86 to 92. The right back, Ender McDonald, is up to a 66 now. So uh, some good young talent coming through. Vestray, 86 to 92. Technically gifted. Dupont, 87 to 90. Three right midfielder. Look, Bernard, 85 to 91, dropped away a little bit. Chevalier, 79 to 93, that another left winger. Uh, Diaby, 86 to 94, centre back. And of course, Oliver Malay, 79 to 93, another central attacking midfielder. Right, we are here in China. We've got Hu Kong, 70 to 94, Yi Wang, 71 to 94, and Quan Yi, 71 to 94. Wang and Yi, I'm going to bring into the academy. We are in Norway. We've got Olive Larsen, 70 to 94, uh, Fredriksen, 72 to 94, and Jan Mikkelbust, 
74 to 94, a decent overall, six foot six. Let's get him into the academy. And we are here in Cameroon. We've still got Endry, and we now have Consi Di Gagana. Diagana, Diagana, Diagana. Yeah, that's right. Uh, he's going grey at 15, so we'll see how he develops. They both look like left backs, uh, six foot six and five eleven respectively. We'll check in on them at the start of the next season and see if they're worth bringing into the academy. All right, time for the final squad report of this season. Rossi an 84 up four, Boundary 75 up five, Bevers a 75 up four, Sorrow 64 up five, Schulte 75 up six. Damas is 75, up 5. Allen, 66, up 6. Cesar Valente, 71, up 6. Hendrick, 65, up 6. Ribeiro, 76, up 4. Cissé, 66, up 5. Barbier, 75, up 5. Michael, 68, up 5. PC Box is 71, up 7. Pedro is 77, up 4. King, 65, up 4. Tegmaui, 67, up 6. DeVitt, 67, up 7. Arnais, an 85, up 4. Uh, Sonso O is leaving us. He'll be going to Piranha, 63 up 5. Blondu, 66 up 1. We're trying to offload. Uh, Clark is 67 up 5. Debogo, 71 up 7. Kelly's is 63 up 4. Leaving, he's also going to Piranha. Telvella, 65 up 6. Kune, 63 up 5. Shinauda, 66 up 6. He's going to St. Polton. Amaral, 76 up 6. Mulder, 63 up 5. Cassell, 79 up 5. Schmitz is a 66 up 8. And Olsen, a 73 up 8. So about 6.9 odd million. Uh, I'm sure we'll be able to take care of that. There's a few lads here that we can obviously sell off uh, in the next season. That should hopefully cover us for cash. And then we can uh, look at if there's any players worth buying uh, for the Europa League. Right, today's player upgrade will be for Telvella, the Finnish centre forward. If you want to make any changes to his number or kit, let me know in the comment section down below and we'll get him upgraded in a future episode. Of course, the one with the most thumbs up generally will get the upgrade, so good luck. Right, and that's where we finish this season. We've managed to finish in fourth. Uh, couldn't get over the line there the last couple of episodes, probably cost us, but we've got European football next season, so I am going to do an accelerated uh, season. We will play all of the Europa League games, though. I want to uh, concentrate on that um, and obviously trying to finish in a Champions League spot. Obviously, if we can win the Europa League, that'll give us a, an opportunity to get up. If we can pay off the money, it means we can go and actually go and buy some regent and uh, really bolster this team for a red-hot crack as we push towards FIFA 20. Hopefully, you're still enjoying the series. We will see you in the next episode. I'm Spiron DK. It's five o'clock somewhere. And you have a good one. This video is powered by Neurotech and their product, Clarity. Now you can jump over to their website now. Use the discount code DK10 for 10% off your next purchase. And uh, I highly recommend this product. I use it every single day. It increases your energy, your focus, while reducing fatigue and stress. If you want to know how I get out all these videos and keep that work going, this is the product for you. So go and check it out. All the information that you need is on at that website. And if you feel like making a purchase, chuck in at that discount code for 10% off. Now, if you are looking for more fresh content to check out, you can click one of these two videos. If you feel like subscribing, well, there's a button right there. Make sure you put on that notifications bell, and we'll see you next time.